are you going to market this? So you have, you have this website, and now you've got your videos in there, so people can go in and take like a beginner's course. How do you plan on marketing that? Because that would kind of determine if you want to do it on Rainmaker or PayPal on how many people are going to come in. So I'm thinking about starting at a lower price point, and then from there, seeing how many interests I get. And then from there, if it grows in value, and like I actually have like a, you know, a certain amount of people, let's say if I have 10 people at $39.99 or even $49.99 and maybe I send them a t-shirt or a package or something with that. Or if I partner with Century, like you were telling me yesterday, and I develop some sort of package for them to start, mm -hmm. like, you know, get your t-shirt, uniform, uh, gear at home and one month of training, you know, videos and three live lessons a week. You know, you really sell the of that program. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I just don't know how you're going to market it. I mean, do you just plan on doing this on Facebook or just? So I'm thinking about doing this on Facebook. Um, also asking the parents as well, like, hey, you know, um, I'm really trying to get this online program started. You know, you guys are helping me. If you guys can help, uh, can you guys give me a couple friends and I can message their friends or um, I'm part of some of these parent groups and I was thinking about like, cause some of the other programs have just put a post, like we're doing online classes with a big advertisement. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about just putting a video of me just talking cause I'm from the neighborhood and be like, Hey, you know, I'm Johnny Karate. Um, I hope all's well. Everyone's staying safe. Um, we're, we've been doing online classes and I would like to invite everyone just to try a class out. You know, I am a small business and just kind of going with the whole small business from Carroll gardens from my area right. kind of idea. Yeah, so yeah, just, just like you're trying to help some of the small business in your area, you're telling me a couple weeks that you buy coffee and everything. So it's getting your parents to like the t-shirt you had, support your local martial arts school. So yeah. they're, they're recommending you to, to their friends. And if they have kids that are bored, I'm sure they have friends that have kids that are bored too that would love to do something like that. The only issue I'm trying to figure out is if, uh, how do I uh, not shoot myself in the foot by having a cheaper program when people are paying in full? You know, they're paying like the, the, the premium rate for this program. So right. how do I figure that out? I think we'd have to step up once you start into your school. I mean, the, the whole idea, right, would be to get these people on the online and then eventually have them come to your school if they're within distance. You, yeah. Present students are paying more because they still have the option of going into back into live classes. And this is just a... Um, a different way of keeping in touch with them while they're at home, but hopefully they're going to come back. Yeah. So, so that's why I'm thinking about trying to have the program at a hundred dollars. So it's not like a huge difference. It's like, right. you know, you're only on an online basis. Everybody else is going to get something like maybe private lessons when they come back. Um, maybe a new uniform or a t-shirt. I just give them a t-shirt when they get there. Uh, just thinking of different ways to kind of uh, keep my people happy um people i've been getting you know i got some nice numbers yesterday of kids in the classes uh, my advanced students look like they're having a good time with it um, i'm kicking their ass when it comes to workouts you know they're like whoa this is real you know doing a bunch of chair drills doing uh different exercises and i'm doing them with them you know i'm, I'm training with them alongside them um so i feel real good as well you know i get my training in a couple times a week now and then plus i do extra um, we talked about this yesterday, but that's the biggest thing. You got to keep your attendance up on your online classes. People will keep paying, I think, as long as they're participating in the online classes because they're getting something. Once they miss a week or two, then they're going to start thinking about not paying anymore. Um, you were telling me yesterday that the little, the little kids, because you have a lot of little uh, students, they're the hardest ones to keep motivated. Because unless their parents are kind of helping them or something, they're going to just sit down and not do it because they don't have the attention span or even close to self-discipline to participate in class. Yeah, I trained a kickboxer this morning. Her son is, is one of my students. They're paid in full. And the son's a paid in full, but the mom's like a kickboxer. The mom is the only one that comes in the morning for kickboxing, which is okay. So I, I did a private lesson with her today, and her son's in there. And I was like, hey, you know, I really want him to keep training because – even though he's three, I don't want to teach him that, you know, we don't want to show him that quitting is okay, you know? And I, I looked at him and I was like, Hudson, right? Winners never quit. Quitters never win. Are you a winner? He was like, yeah, I'm a winner. 
And I'm like, well, I got belt testing at the end of the month. I, I, I want to give you a new belt, but if you're not training, I can't. And he was a little bit more motivated. So he's going to take class tomorrow now. I, uh, let me sh uh, share my screen for a second. So I think <clears throat> training your living room is one thing. Training in your living room dojo would be another thing. So I thought it would be cool if one of our packages is kids can actually create their own dojo in their living room. So I started thinking about all the stuff that I, I would do. Um, they have to have equipment because every dojo has equipment. Plus, it's more fun when you're hitting something than hitting air. I mean, kids have a hard time with their self-discipline and uh, trying to visualize what they're doing unless they're actually participating in something. So having hand targets is really important. If it's a brother and sister, they can use the hand targets. If they're these young kids, their parents can hold the hand targets. I think having a large kicking target is really important. Because now we can use a large ticking, uh, kicking target for kicking. We can also use it as an obstacle, things to jump over, back and forth, um, things like that. Gloves. Uh, if they can hit targets, they need gloves. Plus, just putting the gloves on is a cool factor. And if they're going to have their own living room dojo, I mean, you've got to have stuff. Just like the, when they go to Johnny Karate School and they have stuff to work on. So they need their own gloves. They need practice chucks. Um, we're going to tell them about being safe and away from their parents, uh, lights and things like that. But these are tools. So they're, they're spinning chucks, they're doing figure eights. I mean, that's just fun to practice with. Uh, like you're showing me uh, the video yesterday of chair exercises. I mean, everyone, it's not that we're going to sell them a chair, but they should have a chair within their dojo. And they should be able to do slow kicks off the chair. Um, you and I were talking yesterday, you had them doing inclined sit-ups decline push-ups. So different exercises where they're not just doing it in the ear, but now they have to get their chair, put the chair in front of the computer, the TV, and do their exercises. For kids that don't have rugs in their apartments or houses, they should be able to get a mat, a sit-up mat, or like a yoga mat. So now it's okay, it's time to do our push-ups and sit-ups, guys. Everyone get their mat, so everyone gets their mat out. But again, it's just having this equipment that's going to add to the fun factor. Agility ladder. I just looked up on different sporting goods stores for agility ladders and get them as low as $10. If they didn't want to get an agility ladder, using a karate belt. Uh, putting the karate belt around the, uh, on the floor and then jumping back and forth over it, skipping it, um, doing a push-up and bounce over, whatever you do, you got to come up with a lot of good techniques. And I was really looking forward to maybe you and uh, Jerry Prince helping out with a lot of techniques using these things. I was watching Scott Axman. He was doing things with tennis balls. He was throwing up and then he was like snapping his hand out, almost like you're throwing a punch. And he had grabbed the tennis ball before it hit the ground. Um, I think cones would be cool because if you have a dojo, it's got to be a certain size. Cones orange cones. I saw them online for as little as $5 a piece. Everyone should have at least four cones uh, to mark off their, the size of their, their living room dojo. Uh, this will also give them a safe area from like in front of their TV or chairs or things that are break, uh, breakable. But I think you could have a lot of fun with this. So you could either sell this as a package and have Century just drop ship all this stuff to your students. Your students may have a lot of this stuff already, and they may just want to order piecemeal. But I think really talking to the parents about, we got to keep the kids engaged. We want to do the fun factor. Um, for the first couple classes, doing things in the air and yelling is going to be a lot of fun. But having them set up their own dojo, it's going to be theirs. Where are they going to practice? They're going to practice in their own dojo. They can't even come up with the name of their dojo. They can send... Uh, share pictures of their home dojo and all their equipment. I just think it would just really, really add. Because if we have the kids engaged, parents are going to see value, they're going to keep paying. Once they stop doing the videos because they just can't handle it because they have no attention span or they have no self-discipline, um, that's why I think it's really important to do Zoom classes where you can see the students and take attendance. Um, I also put a thing out on the Rainmaker Business Solution yesterday. It was a letter congratulating kids on stripe testing. And I know it seems a little simple, 
but I can also see the fun factor here. The kid gets a letter from you. He's, uh, at the, he's completed eight classes, and that's the only qualification. If they do eight video classes, they get their stripe until this is all over. We're not going to test the kids. What we want to do is keep them actively engaged. But after eight classes, they get this letter. The letter congratulates them for having all these qualities of a black belt, for having the perseverance. Uh, they're acting like winners. They're participating. They have all their equipment. Um, you congratulate them on getting their stripe. And there's actually a stripe printed on the piece of paper. Then the kids, their parents get scissors. They cut out the stripe. They fold it around their belt, and they apply some scotch tape. So now that they've got a stripe on their belt, they can take pictures of that. Um, the, the letter that they could frame, you could even send a certificate. I know someone uh, um, added that under uh, my post where the parents can actually print up a certificate. So now you send them a congratulations letter. You send them the patch. They can print their certificate. So now they've got their own dojo. And I think this would just really increase, uh, again, the people sticking to it and not just watching a couple of videos and say, okay, this isn't the same. Yes, yeah, not the same, but it could be really, really cool. You have any ideas, Johnny, more things that we could do? Um, just one question. So on that letter, you actually made the stripe on there as well? Yeah, I don't know if I can pull it up. Let's see. If oh, I that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was done already. So I was like, you know, when you were telling me, I'm like, how am I supposed to get it the right way? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, you told me that yesterday. And I was like, I don't know. But if it's done already, I can do that this month. Yes, Sounds good. I will be doing that for a lot of people. Okay. Yeah, I probably did it right after I talked to you yesterday. No, that, that is great. Um, I'm just trying to figure out um, the easiest way. I feel like the thing about building the home dojo is you can't expect people to buy all these different things from different places. If we have one place where they can get a box, that box is sent to them, it's done. Right. Yeah, and I price all that stuff out. It's about a hundred bucks. I mean, it's not out of the question. I mean, you don't need, you'd have to kind of know your area and what people in your area would pay for. And then, you know, in New York city, New York city apartments, I don't know how they can make a room a dojo yet. But I mean, this is going to be a, a five foot by five. I have interesting rooms that they do classes in right now. So you see everything. I, I use, um, Mil uh, so her logo if I'm uh, down here in Florida. I want to congratulate earning your stripe. You're now one step closer to black belt. This is a big deal, especially training at home during this time. You are demonstrating the qualities of black belt, patience, self-discipline, honesty, a positive attitude, and indomitable spirit. Please print this page out, cut out the stripe below, fold it around your belt, and tape it together. Next, take a picture and have mom or dad post on Facebook. Tag our school so I get a chance to see it. When you reach a goal like this, be sure to celebrate. Next, set your next stripe goal and be sure to attend our virtual class next week. Each day, remind yourself you are strong enough, smart enough, and you are awesome. Dedicate to helping you be your best. And this would be the stripe. They would just print this letter, cut out the stripe, put it around their belt. You can write whatever you want. You can have a perseverance stripe. You can have a dedication stripe. I'll just... I just think it'd be pretty cool because again, this is not an adult, 25 year old adult playing strike. This is a kid who's five to 10 years old. who I think this would think was totally cool. And he gets to put on a strike himself. So. I think it's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to edit that and fix that. Yep. And uh, I think I'm going to write Johnny Karate on it. Um, <laughs> that was really good idea. I've embraced my Johnny Karate name since I've uh, been working with you. Yeah. Something. I, it was my neighborhood name. <laughs> you told me there's all the Johnnies in your neighborhood, but you're the Johnny in whatever you did. So, I was Johnny Karate. Yeah, it's better than um, kind of mechanic, but. That is true. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I got I to gotta play with this. I'm going to go on Sentry and see what they can do. You think I should call them and see what, what, what they're willing to do? Yeah. 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 I, uh, contacted Leon Rogers, who uh, used to be that division of Century Essay, and I just tried to get his feedback. He thought it was a great idea, but he's not in that division. So I guess you just have to reach out to Century, put down the products that you need, uh, come up with a price, see what your price is, and see what it costs if, um, to uh, drop ship it to your students. That would be a, a cool thing. Um, I, I would be, in, I think if I can make it as simple as possible, then that could definitely work. Uh, I, I think maybe I might have to make a call 
Um, it would be even cooler if they could put like our school logo or something on the box or something like that. Yeah. I think about like, you know, when you join Hyper, they send you a box with a bunch of like, step, they have the little stamps of H's on it. Okay. And you open it up and then you have your t-shirts and you have your like, your thank you letter and all that stuff like that, which is, I think is a, one of the cool things about when, you know, Hyper. Yep. So you notice this, uh, we talked about this, but I started recording this uh, a little while ago. So I had this picture behind me because I was watching the news and I noticed all the newscasters had their logo on it. So if, if you are going to do videos, uh, if you don't have a, uh, a logo behind you, I paid uh, $140 for this TV. And then I just got a mirroring feature. So I just take a picture and mirror it. It is backwards where you see it, but when I record this later and convert it into a video, uh, Adam Gilbert's name would be straight but it's cool to get your logo so if it just had a logo uh it'd be pretty nice when you do your videos uh, on my end it is actually not backwards oh no cool okay mine i see it backwards <laughs> okay sir uh let me i don't know when we going to meet but uh right. uh william has his meeting tomorrow yes yep yeah william would be on tomorrow uh 12 o'clock i'll be there all right, Sergeant. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.